you got the Psalms? Psalms, yeah. And um, are you got are you got the Psalms? Yeah. Yes, you guys got the books of David. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, um, so when I have a special, mo I have a special moment yes. that I have to sit down yes. and pray. So. Um, I just ask for answers, and God will, can be a person like you, bring me a word, could be one of the books. You know what we say? You know what we say? Mm. We say that's good for you to re take a time out of your day and reflect and consider God. But what we say is, how does God want you to come to Him and pray to Him and give time with Him? It can't be whenever we want to. Mm -hmm. It has to be at a set time. So for example, all these people who go come off the train, they have to be work certain time. Mm -hmm. They have to spend certain time of their day doing other activities mm -hmm. in addition to working or sleeping or buying their food or whatever. There are set times. So that is dictated to us. So similarly, God who is our creator wants us to listen to his commands. So he's ordained upon us five daily prayers. And the thing is, the way the prophets in the Old Testament prayed, this is how we pray. We bow and prostrate to God five times a day. Set the, in fact, the, the third prayer is due very shortly. So by us offering our prayers is to recognize the commands of our Creator as to how He wants you to acknowledge Him. You've got two nice eyes. If I was to offer you 50 million pounds for both of these eyes and you will go blind the rest of your life, would you take the money? No chance. If I offered you 50 million pounds for both of your eyes and you would be blind, rest of your life. Would you take the money? No. I'm a mother. It depends on what. If you want to save my children, I'll say yes. These are extreme circumstances. I'm talking about... But it's, uh, it's precious. It's not for sale. Yeah, it's not for sale. Exactly. If someone's... Okay, just say God give your children long and healthy life. Mm -hmm. But if someone offered you for a better life, 50 million pounds for both eyes, would you accept? Maybe you do for your children, but what about... Just say someone offered you a nice house, mm -hmm. a nice business, a nice car, everything, and but they want both of your eyes. Would you give both of your eyes? I will give my eyes. You will give your eyes. And God has given that to you for free of charge. Look at the air that we breathe. Did you know the air is 78% is nitrogen? Mm -hmm. If there was a quarter percent less, we would not be able to breathe. So who is giving this to us? Our Creator. We should be grateful to that Creator. So let the Creator tell us how to go about commanding us how to live our lives. We need an objective moral guidance from something which is not within mankind. The remix mankind's positions change through history, you see. We need an eternal guide and that guide is God. So God sends revelation. You are familiar with the Old Testament, the, New, the, the Psalms as you mentioned for David, the New Testament for Jesus and the final Testament, the Quran given by God to mankind, to worship Him and Him alone. We have, we have a duty to that Creator. So when you go in a mosque, for example, if you go to any other religious institute, one thing about a mosque, you will never on the walls or anywhere find any pictures of anyone. Nothing. No picture of a man, of a woman, of nothing. So we pray in the, in the direction towards God in a particular way bowing and prostrating, which is the humblest thing you can do as reverence. So then we do other things like, you know, we give charity, we go, we, uh, we fast in the month of Ramadan, we, we do so many things to please God, you see. So we have to have that connection to God and to lead a life what He wants, not how we want. We can pray any time in the day, I agree. At the same time, how about when He wants you to remember Him? So this is why we pray five times a day. And the prophets in the Old Testament used to pray three times a day. Moses would pray three times a day in the same, same way, exactly the same way as us. He'd have a wash, he washes his hands, and he finishes by washing his feet before he offers the prayer. It's how we do so as well. So Islam claims to be God's final revelation. Islam means submission to the will of God Almighty. So Allah says in the Quran, Today I have completed my favor upon to you and chosen for you Islam as a means for you to live. Mm -hmm. Does this make sense? Yeah. Let me see what's this channel? Yeah, it's called Dawa D A W A H. Okay. Two. Uh, 
Let me type it for you. Let me do it for you. Is this on YouTube? Yeah. Are you on YouTube now, yeah? Yeah. yeah. So I should have been, but you, the habit is just to put it on me quickly, you see, these mics. Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, so you, I subscribe. What will happen when um, he uploads the video? It will come up. Now, let me show you an example just so that you are aware what we do. Hi, there you are. So, oh, this okay. lady became this lady became Muslim in Oxford. Okay. I was in Oxford about 10 days ago, 10 12 days ago. So, here I am. You can see me there. So we, we blur the person out. This is a lady, English lady. Yeah. She became Muslim. Okay. She accepted Islam. It's, um, it's because I don't do social media. That's fine. No, no, no that's fine. That's fine. You've asked yeah. me once, so I promise yeah. you, he will upload the video. It's that brother over there. See with the camera? Yes. It's his channel. Yeah. Once he uploads it, he will do it very quickly. You will get notification. And then you can watch it. But no one can see you. Okay. So, okay. so you're so you're okay. So the, but you're right. Yeah. I should it should have been communicated better. Yeah. Okay. So in finality, I would invite you to Islam. Because worshipping God alone is the only way to go. Don't say it doesn't matter, so it's very important Christian. I what loves me very much and that's full of the words. And that that's as you can see. I'm very respectful for anyone yes. that comes to me yes. with the uh, words words. <laughs> and um, like I said to you, I have many Muslim friends, and um, I just I know I would be guides. Well, on the right time, I would be guides. Inshallah. And, um, thank you very much for everything. No, my that pleasure. I, I really thank you for your time. Um, have you got a Quran? I do. That's what I was saying to you. I do. Okay, in it's in English, yes? Yes, it's in English. Super, excellent. Because we're giving away Qurans, free Qurans on the table there. But that's yeah. fine. Read it again. I mean, we'll be here more frequently as well. We're often in Stratford. You know where the Stratford station is? Mm -hmm. 2.30 to 8.30, we've got a big table there. Um, so if you want to ever come by and ask questions, please do so. But it's very important, you see, we give time to our creator. And the life is very busy, you see, we just carry on relentlessly if you have children you have to look after them mm -hmm. feed them clothe them work for them everything so but what we say is that that reflection of your credit it has to be paramount mm -hmm. it has to be above all things so we must be we must acknowledge that and, and worship God alone because one day we're all going to die surely it makes sense that he wants us as human beings to live in a particular way to acknowledge him not to acknowledge that a man for example is God or some or his creation is God yet God has created everything but God is not like his creation so for Muslim Jesus is a great prophet a great messenger but that's all he is yes you yes. do you believe this yeah, what do you believe about like I said to you I believe in God and you know Jesus whatever your words you're using you are you want to be instrument of God so I believe that what Jesus was saying is we can be instruments of God. Yeah. And the major philosophy of him is for us to love each other. Yes. And sometimes I there is for many reasons things God the way it is, but I'm the kind of person like uh, as long as I'm close to God, any person that comes to me with the words of God. Every person has a beautiful way to connect with God. I just appreciate because that's what showed me. Oh, yeah. look to this way. Oh, see, listen what is being said. For example, to me, what I got from you today is that reminded me to sit more often. Connect with him. Stand up that little shape. Thank you so much. No, my pleasure. Like I said, I mean, you, you said you have many Muslim friends. so. I would encourage you, maybe you can ask them maybe to take you to the mosque. If you've got female Muslim friends, hey, can you, you know, yeah, I would like they, to go. They, they did. They, uh, they did. And they did. That's why I was telling you that it's yeah. very peaceful. Very peaceful. Excellent. Yes. Now you're, you're correct, yes. But like I said, taking a step further now to practice it in your life. Mm -hmm. That's also very important. So, I mean, I'm fully um, accepting that you are, you know, have a, 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 an understanding of your creator and you want to get close to the creator. Oh, okay, thank but you. what I'm saying to you, that creator, it has to be done by, via his decree via his commands so i would encourage you to consider this 
and reflect on our conversation. You can Thank watch you. it tonight on that channel which I've subscribed okay. and we can have a good uh, Thank you meeting. So much. Thank you. I really Thank appreciate you your time. Take care. Take care. Take care. Thank you. Pleasant conversation with this nice lady from Cape Verde and uh, you know, she's one who is seeking uh, who, who is seeking God. So give her some dawah inshallah. May Allah guide her. She'll watch later on and then may Allah uh, accept uh, some sort of understanding of her. Thank you.